Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with All the right. purple strip. All right. What's good, Ravens fam? So on this one, we're going to. Uh, we're gonna do a little. Well, it ain't little. It ain't little. Uh, we're gonna do the Wired Inside Ravens mini camp. It's about 21 minutes. I haven't watched it yet. They released it about right now. It's Saturday. They released it about uh, two days ago. I haven't looked at it yet because I was thinking, should I look at it while I'm working or should I do a video? So we can kind of look at it together and get my just thoughts right off my head. What I think, what I like. So, and last time I tried to do this live, it it was tripping. But I'm going I'm to try to figure out. I probably hit up uh, hit up some people like Rogue Pod or Coach. Try to help me out with a with the stream yard. I think that's it, the stream yard. I don't really use that a lot, but I'm trying to start that during that start using that more this uh should i say this season this year so let's get this video started hey everybody good to see you guys welcome to mini camp good to get started on our first official mandatory uh practice of the year really the season that boy been tired. a lot of preparation has gone into this point we put a lot of work in already but this becomes our official beginning uh, going forward for the 2023 season and everybody's very excited to get started hey man we ready to go this is how the real ones come out right now let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get this buddy baby i think with the mandatory mini camps really your first view of all the off-season pieces coming together we get to know as we get to know these guys you don't know who's strong who's getting in out of breaks and we can anticipate i think todd munkin is going to be a huge addition just his ability to adapt to personnel i got so much more right energy than sure greg we're doing everything it's ridiculous. in our power and utilize what you have. So pop it, pop it, pop it, go. Stick it. Trying to do it against the best where the margin <laughs> is so small, it's the <laughs> ultimate challenge. If you decide this year, hey, hey, hurry. You get all in and go for it. Go route. Come on, come on. It'll be the simplest, Good job. hardest, Stay locked in. and most rewarding football experience in your life. I'm trying to turn it up a little bit. All right. That's, that's back, working. This is kind of what you did, right, Coach? You had, you had a, a clinic about once a month or once every couple weeks and go to different schools and get to know coaches and talk ball. Our dads were that way, right, Jesse? Mm -hmm. And they would, they would have, they'd have, my dad would have 15 secondary coaches in the night after a spring game. You know, he'd be there all night with them. That, to me, that's, that's kind of lost now. So for you guys to pack up your bags, get on planes, come out here and do this it is really awesome and we really really appreciate it if you don't have success you actually can't have confidence right but here's the thing if you don't have confidence you can't have success our philosophy on offense is an efficiency offense a lots of different things you can talk about a lot of metrics okay the things that matter to us are efficiency numbers we're going to use tempo to maximize opportunity for touches if we can get 10 more plays okay that's 10 more opportunities to distribute touches. So That's he got other opportunities coaches from college in there? Plays. It happens in the NFL, but it really happens in college. Like we started to realize, guys, if we don't spit the ball in the perimeter, if we don't get our skill guys involved, we'll never be the team we can be. Woo! He preaching right there. Give your skill Thanks guys the ball. Now we're here to introduce Todd Munkin as the new offensive coordinator of the ball. Oh, so they're going all the way back like this. Fan okay. He's going to be really excited with what we see from this offense going forward. I know I am. With no further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our new offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin. We got a lot of work ahead of us, obviously putting a plan together, building off of what's been really successful in the past, power run game, play action, and then trying to build off that. And uh, so it's, it's been exciting, and I know it's going to go fast, so we have a lot of work ahead of us. I think Todd Munkin is going to be a huge addition. You know, they played some really good offensive football here in recent years. It just felt like things had plateaued a little. And what Todd Munkin has done best over his career and what made him such a 
impressive choice to be their offensive coordinator is just his ability to adapt to personnel. He makes this and Benny look good. That, that's that's adapting right there. Offenses. He, he adapts to his personnel, and I think that's what's exciting for the Ravens. How do we get guys in the right spots? How do we make sure that we're doing everything in our power to get this guy here and enough of those plays where we don't give it away? If we got this guy that can do this, if we got this guy that can do this, yeah, I'd love to have Reggie Wayne and Marvin Harrison. You never have to change. That's a rarity, man. How do, you, how do you move guys around and get them in the right spots and utilize what you have? Right? Don't worry about what you don't have. What do you have? What do you have? What can they do? What can we utilize their skill? I love Coach Todd. <laughs> He's full of energy. He always makes sure you got energy, making sure you're running from place to place. I love his energy. He brings energy every day to practice to keep the team going, to keep the offense going. So the idea is what matches up together? How do you match up schemes that fit together in the run game and the pass game, and it all fits together. Having a guy that's been so successful in the NFL and in the college ranks, um, the one thing I've noticed about him as a coach, though, he is a phenomenal teacher. And I think that's what you look for as an offensive coordinator, be able to direct the players to be able to learn this, the system and uh, be able to execute it throughout the weeks. Haven't always been a huge trick play guy, but I'll tell you this, the players like it, they like having fun. You gotta have one, if it's about being explosive, one out of three may work, but if somehow you can pull an explosive and four or five times a year, three times a year you can get explosive, you've added to the list. The perfect scenario hmm. for the Ravens is going to revolve around being balanced. How much do you juggle between being balanced with trying to be explosive? I truly believe that you can't control the game if you can't run the football. You can't, you can't control the game. You, you, you're not, you, you don't have a toughness. Your helmet doesn't represent something. The ability to run the football, right? You have to be able to run it. Everybody's excited about these new wide receiver additions. Nelson Aguilar looks really good. He's a guy not that many people are talking about. He looks good. You know what Odell, a healthy Odell Beckham brings. Say Flowers is exciting. The Ravens still have the personnel to be a very oh, Lord good Lord and Rod. But I think the ability to do both is what makes them so excited. And Rod, well, he was injured, I believe, this is all this time, anyway. Welcome back. This is the beginning, man. This is where it all starts. It's already been kind of ramping up, warming up, and guys have been doing a great job up until now. What I've seen, the guys here have been on point. It's been fun. I'm sure the guys who haven't been here are on point and are ready to go. And now we start all together as a team for the first time, right? So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's keep it up football in this role. Mandatory minicamp is the one time of the off-season calendar where the entire team is required to be here. So everybody comes back to the building, and it's just a real chance to see where the team sits before they get into training camp, the preseason, then, of course, the regular season. Installing a new offense, obviously new OC Todd Munkin is at the helm. I mean, he sets the direction. He controls the big picture vision of what the offense is going to be. But when you get down to practices, the position coaches are in a lot of ways the ones who are more hands-on in terms of instructing what that offense will look like and making sure that everybody understands how to run the system that Munkin wants. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Right. Let's be loud right here and ball out. Right. You think, man? You got it. Hey, keep a good base as you're moving in the pocket. Hey, calm, poise. We're not rushing, they're rushing. Hey, real quick, real quick. Wide and tap, like we talk about. Wide step, freeze and go. Explosive first step with the width, freeze and go. So explosive first step width. Explosive first step lift, width, end up in lane one. Eye socket to hip pocket. Stick them out photo. Stick them out photo. Get your arms right, talk to yourself. No Costco arm. It's clear they want to be more up tempo. Hmm. Lamar Jackson certainly has more responsibility at the line of scrimmage. I mean, we've already seen that. I like how you were thinking today, though, in terms of the protections. This isn't about how they look early in training camp. It's more. about how they look in, in late August, even. And, you know, they more need to be ready to go when the regular season starts. I think everyone understands. At the, at the offensive line. Progress, but they have the pieces to make it work. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh my goodness! We got Hold on! Off we don't throw Wait, I can't pause there. it. What? Huh? Well, that is a Bella. What? I think that was the first time I seen him this year. Goodness! I forgot all about that boy. 
So piss you off. In college, I had three officer coordinators. Wow. OC, so it's been a little challenging more than college because it's way more simplistic. And then league is just more details and little stuff you got to pay attention to. But I've been learning it well so far. Hey, good job pulling him out of the break right there. Are you, as we get to know him, as we get to know these guys, you'll know who's strong, who's getting in and out of breaks, so we can anticipate. Hey, we're talking posture again, then 45, energy lane, energy lane. We want ener we want to see speed increase, energy lane to the ball. So posture, hey, I got them switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right hey, it might not look like that. We got, yeah. goals, baby. We got guys that have been here for years. I got to rewind. Guys that have been here for <laughs> one year going on there. Got goals, baby. Yeah, yeah. Right through there. Hey, it might not look like that. Posture, yeah, 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 yeah. Right through there. Hey, it might not look like that. We got goals, oh, baby. We got guys that have been here for years. We got guys that yeah. have been here for one year, going on their second year, like myself. You got rookies and oh shoot, they got tears in my eyes. Together, right, so we're making mistakes together and we're correcting those things. So um, you know, I think iron sharpens iron. We always say that, and I think when you truly put your your best foot forward every day to learn and execute those things, it makes everybody better. Oh, we got it done. Boom. Let's go, Snoop. I love it. Hey, what a work right there, man. What a work, what a work. How long we you got? Right Eesh, it must still in the middle. Tyler, it looks like Tyler made a run. So he, he, the, he needs to feed that and then pick it up. I know he put the pass it yeah. on. That's why I didn't. Yeah. I thought I was good. Yeah. That's one of those clutch runs. By the time I get to the back, look. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, it's all back. Oh. Throughout the offseason, we've seen glimpses, little bits, little pieces of what this new Todd Munkin offense is going to look like. But minicamp was the first opportunity to get everyone on the field, all the vets together, and get a real idea of what this offense will look like with Munkin at the helm. Y'all ever heard of Hank Aaron? Y'all ever heard of Hank Aaron? He's back. Come on. Oh, oh, I thought I got him. Oh, I thought I got him. Hey, all photo. Whenever you, whenever you deal with a contested situation, fall in love with the ball. Your body gonna work by itself. Just fall in love with the ball. Oh. I'm about to get one. No, nah, I'm going about wherever to get the way. Oh, golly. For the first time since Lamar Jackson put on a helmet here with the Ravens in 2018, all eyes won't be on him at a Baltimore practice. Everyone's going to be looking at Odell Beckham Jr. Like Lamar said, sky's the limit. You love great players and great people and guys who love football. You know, and the one thing I've seen about Odell is he loves football. And the other thing that we like is guys who want to be here. And he's very excited to be here. He wants to be here. So that combination is good. Odell Beckham Jr. brings star power. I mean, you can just feel it. You could feel it the first time that he walked in the building to sign his contract. And you could feel it the first time that he put on the jersey and went out there for a minicamp practice. Odell is a legend to a lot of us. You know, what he did, what he did his early in his career and, you know, the past year when he was with the Rams and stuff like that. You know, Odell is him. I'm one of those guys. So it means a lot. Hey, let me get one out you. Let me get one out you. Let me get one out you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that type of stuff, man. I like that type of stuff, man. I like that type of stuff. <laughs> Only from him. Only from him. I'm just telling you, it's, it's different. It's different. No, I know. I know. <laughs> he's he's Highly decorated player, without question. Has been in all the big battles, you know, over the years. He's, he's worked really hard. Hey, hey, he is looking like this. Uh, I feel good. It's yeah, like number or percentage. When you come back from being injured, there's always that little bit of fear that you have to get over. Odell Beckham looks healthy. I think that's the most important part. That's what you wanted to see. Good catch, Odell. Yes, sir. Good route. Keep playing. Keep playing. There's an aura about Odell Beckham, you know, and, and you can feel it when players are around him. And, you know, watching him kind of talk to different players on the sideline, him and Justin Tucker were engaged in a conversation. I think he's always been known as a good teammate throughout his career, and I, I think people are very happy to have him here. On the field, he was just teaching me about breaks, um, getting in and out uh, faster, being more efficient. He just bring a winning mentality and teach us how to work. Show, show us how to get to the point where he got to to win a Super Bowl. Hmm. Family on two, family on two. One, two. Three. Best players I've ever been around have been the, the best fixers. You got to be a quick fixer because if <coughs> you don't fix what you're working on, you're not going to get better. If you don't get better, you're not going to make the plays you want to make. One, one, two. Hey, watch out. Watch out. That's good. That's good. Oh, y'all saw it. Y'all hating on it. They hating on it. <laughs> Haters, man. 
What is our mission? Simple, be the best team in the National Football League, and in order to do that, you've got to do what? Proof. We can talk all we want, we can say all we want, we can say we should have done this, should have done that, but you know, you got to go win it, right? So that, that's the point, that's what we're here for. So every jersey you've worn to this point in your sporty career, right across your heart, I said the team name. Whatever team you've been on, here it says the Ravens. So I implore you to do something very simple. The same way we talked about the back of the jersey and everything you felt. Defend your team that way. Defend your coaches that way. Defend each other. We don't need to talk about anything down the road, what's going to happen at the end. All we need to do is just sharpen our knives every single day right now. All right? Then when the time comes, we're going to see it. All right? And then we're going to be on to the next one, one and up, one at a time. Okay? Let's not forget who we are and where we're going. Let's just get to work one day at a time. Love one another, work hard together. Everybody up for that? Okay. We'll break up. Offense. They look like that could be the end of the... What is there else to show? Media Day is a massive operation. Hey, Basically, this entire yes. facility gets transformed into a media production house on that day. The crews start arriving here in this building around four, five o'clock in the morning. And the very first player to arrive to go through the entire Media Day circuit was Lamar Jackson. What? We're gathering content that we use internally over the course of the entire year, whether that's for TV shows, social media, the Ravens vision boards inside M&T Bank Stadium. And then there's a number of the national networks who are here, Fox, NBC, CBS. They're all here gathering material that they use for the year. So the players get in uniform, they go through a circuit of stations that takes about two hours to complete, photo sessions, video work, Really cool stuff that happens on that day. I walked in and I I was like expecting like cameras, but I seen us like a huge setup with like smoke coming out, and I was like, yeah, I like this. That boy do look clean in the bud though. Oh man, I'm gonna go all the straight personality. That's gotta be Marlon. You basically have to get every player in uniform and through. Oh, I ain't look at that one yet. The one they talking about who, who, who wore this outfit. Staff, photographers, basically anybody that has any role in the content distribution and collection on that day is working around the clock to make sure that happens. This is a setup for just not for ourselves, you know, to get pictures and all that stuff like that. But um, we do stuff to get the fans into it. Just being able to ability to come in there for media day, um, laugh, you know, giggle with the guys. That's the first day we kind of see everybody. Um, it's a great opportunity. <laughs> Me? What? <clears throat> oh, that's good. Just having fun with it, you know, smiling, you know, uh, doing all those things, and just, you know, it, it really just gives you. It's like the first step of saying, like, hey, football is really here. Media Day, I think, in a lot of ways, is kind of the Super Bowl for I those get of used us to that who are zero on the production side Juan. of the business. I mean, this is one of the biggest days of the entire year on our calendar because this really drives content not just for that day, but for the course of the entire season. And it's truly an all hands on deck effort to pull off the machine that is Media Day. If you decide this year to get all in and go for it, right? It'll be the simplest, hardest, and most rewarding football experience in your life. When you look at the course of the OTAs, mm. the mandatory mini camp, and you think of who made uh, an impression, who, who looked really good, I think the top of the list would be David Ajabo. Ajabo, oh, huh?
Yeah, 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 that beat they give him. He liked that. With the 45th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select David Ojabo. Who's in 22? What do you say? Y'all going 90, boy. He liked that. With the 45th pick in the 2022 uh, NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select David Ojabo. Let's go! He played sparingly last year. He had to work his way back from the torn Achilles, but he has been somebody that stood out throughout the entire offseason program. He looks completely healthy. And what really stands out to me is when you watch practice, he brings a ton of energy. We've been getting after uh, just literally making it, uh, each other better. Uh, you know, going hard. Iron sharpens iron. Uh, we just we just make sure we focus on technique. You know, we're all good. You know, we're all in the NFL. Uh, we recognize that. So now it's just refining technique and uh, pushing each other. You know, holding each other accountable. The defense is going to be tasked with getting the offense ready for the season. You know, Mike McDonald is going to want to show Todd Munkin a lot of looks. They're going to want to make sure Lamar Jackson is ready. And the defense has an opportunity to prepare for a season while going to oh, Jackson every day. That's conflicted. very valuable. And the same oh, thing the other Hopefully end. Hopefully that one Lamar Jackson going gets it. to see one of the league's best defenses <laughs> every day in practice. And my vision for our team is I want us to play a style that nobody wants to fight. I want us to The sky is the limit for this defense. Mike McDonald is now in his second year in the system. I think he's an incredibly smart coordinator. And it's no secret that defensive players in Baltimore expect this group to be one of the best in the league. That's the expectation around here. That's how it's been for a long time. And I absolutely Ooh, think that in looking nice forward to this season, the Ravens have all the pieces to pull that off. What, what is it to be, be great at something? Or just to be great at life, you know? Greatness is a simple thing. I'm going to end it right there. So far, what I think about this really is just, they really got me hyped about Ajabo. I got to admit, they got me hyped about Ajabo. Um, I think the offense is going to do good. I think the defense is going to do really good. I didn't really see that much of Rocky Sin. I thought they was going to talk about that. But this video has really two minutes left. I highly doubt they talk about Rocky Sin that fast. But... Yeah, I just, well, it got me really interested in Ojabo. That, that, that right there. And Isabella is still on the team. I, I, we actually, I saw him. Like, I saw him. But what y'all think about the Wired? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.